last tube, um, it's Davina here or Mamula. Um, it's eight o'clock on Monday morning, 16th of May. Just sent my little boy off to school on his school bus, so I thought I'd do this now before the day starts. Finished mania, sort of half. Um, how exciting was mania? I thought I'd be really stressed at the beginning with all these whips and things, but I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's kept me really disciplined and focused and oh, it's been so much fun. Anyway, I did 15 new starts, um, started on the 1st of May and finished my last one yesterday. So I will show you what I worked on. I've kept them all in, in bags because I don't want to get them all muddled up, but I'll show you. So. Day one, worked on Jardin Prive. I can't say that in French, but it translates to Alice in Wonderland. Um, I was really pleased. I made quite a lot of progress on each one, I think. I'll get my notes. So, oops. So, this is... The start I made, this is stitched on 28 count even weave Brittany in cream. So, started on the white rabbit. Really nice to stitch this, stitching two over two. Um, little elephant needle minder from Artie Moments. That one's a present for my daughter, that one's, and that's got to be finished in by July. So I think I will, because it's not, it's not huge. Um, day two was the Dahlia flower. Um, oops. And this is stitched on 18 count white Ada. It's a bit hard to see, it's quite light colours, but that's the start I made. That's the Green Day guitar pick needle minder from Artie Moments. And then day three, I can't show you the pattern because it chart but it's like a like a folk folksy pattern and that's the start I made in purple it's all one color that that's also stitched on 18 cut white ada I lost the um, front of my needle minder on that one I think it was a scrabble tile it fell off um, day four was the vintage sewing machine. I bought this years ago off Etsy. I didn't realise how teensy tiny it is, but it's, it's really cute, but I'm gonna finish this really soon. This is stitched on that horrible a 22 count hard hanger that I hate. I thought, being as it's such a small chart, I'll just persevere. I've stitched it two over one. I probably should have done one over one but it, because it's, it's a bit bulky, but that's the start I made on that one. I quite like that. That's the personalised needle minder with my son underwater, also from Artie Moments. And then day five was Lizzie Kate, my to-do list. I love this chart. I've seen quite a few people um, stitching that, so it's really nice to see when you're stitching the same. This is on 25 count Ugana in a light top. That's what I did on that one. With McDreamy needle minder. So I don't think that'll take very long to stitch up either. So that was day five. Um, Day six, I'm doing the 
Sunflower from the magazine. I think it's the World of Cross Stitch. I don't know what issue, it was quite a while ago. So that's the start I made on that. Little Russian doll needle minder from Arty Moments as well. I'll put a link to her Etsy shop at the bottom because she does such fab um, needle minders. I get I get all my needle minders from Stacy at Arty Moments or Lisa at No More Lost Needles. So I'll put a link to both of those at the bottom actually. Uh, that's on 18 count white ada. Day seven is afternoon in Paris. And that's stitched on 20 count because that's what I started the afternoon in New York. So I thought I'd do them all the same so that when they're framed and all together, let's fold it up. So that's my start on that one. I love how these stitch up. That's my Guns N' Roses guitar pick. I couldn't really match the needle minders to the project really, so they're just whichever ones I have. Um, day eight is, let's see if I can find a picture without the chart. Oh, it was that world map that I'm gonna do. I don't think I'm gonna do the words though, I think I'm just gonna put my son's name at the top and I started on I think it's that way up on South Africa not really much to see on that on a Texas needle minder that was a gift from Kellyanne all the way from Texas and then day nine <coughs> excuse me was the World Wrestling WWE. And this is stitched on 14 count by Ada. It's just black and red. Well, it's supposed to be, the background's supposed to be all white, but I'm doing it on white Ada. I'm not gonna fill in all the background. That's what I've done so far with serious black. Needle minder. And that one's from Lisa at No More Lost Needles. I'm putting them all back in the bags because I don't want to get them muddled up with the with the threads. Uh, day ten. It's another Lizzie Kate one. Two shall be as one. I like this one as well. This is going to be a gift for my sister. Her, her wedding anniversary. We don't normally buy for wedding anniversaries, but it's her birthday on the same day in August, so I thought I'd do it. Oh, I need to mind just stuck. But I'd do it for her birthday. And this is stitched on 25 count even weave, like tall. I had a really big piece of some of these fabrics, so I've sort of cut them up and used them for. That's as far as I got. steamy keeping a watchful eye on proceedings there uh, what day was that day 10 so day 11 was afternoon in London from Country Cottage Needle Needleworks I always want to say craft Needle craft Needleworks um, this is also stitched on 20 count Ada. I didn't have an awful lot of time this day, so I didn't didn't get masses done, but I got that far. So almost finished the bus. Um, but May's a manic month for some reason. There's just so much going on. Um, day 12 was another... I can't show you the pattern because it's a chart. Oh, the needle mine just fell off. But it's another folksy pattern. They were free downloads from the Wielding Stitches. So I downloaded a couple. That's what I've done so far. This is all stitched in one colour as well, the whole, the whole thing. 
but they, they stitch up quite quick as well. <coughs> so day 13, it's another Country Cottage Needleworks to have and to hold. I'm stitching this for mine and my hubby's anniversary in the end of June. Um, so I'll just put our wedding date on the bottom of there. We've been married 26 years next month, so not not doing it as a present, just... Um, I didn't have enough needle minders for the whole 15 because I've still got some on my other whips as well, so... This one I've gone really wrong. This is stitched on 16 count Ada and cream. So my church, the whole thing is one row over that way, so it's against the tree. And I thought, oh, well, I can fudge that. I'll just do the next tree one over that way, so it's symmetrical. And then when I got down to there, that I've, I've missed out one of those browns, so that's one row up as well. I thought, oh, I'm not taking it all out. So. Hopefully I'll remember, I might write it down actually, I'll remember the mistakes I've made so that when I go back to it, I um, know where I am. And then, <clears throat> day 14 is the Gryffindor crust. I bought these as kits ages ago, like years. I don't know what it is about these crests, but I hate stitching them. I don't know why. So I'm going to I'm going to use one for the wine and whip stitch along in Stitch Mania. So that's what I've done so far. These are stitched on 16 count white Ada that came in the kit, and I completely buggered up the lion's head, and I couldn't find where I went wrong. I've got like two extra rows of really long brown there that aren't on the chart. I think I've, I've gone wrong up here somewhere so that when I've come down it's just all, but I fudged it quite well I think because I can see what it is so I've stitched enough so that everything else is right now so when I when I go back to it I'll know where I am. I, don't, I seem to be making loads of mistakes lately on all my all my stuff and I'm not one for frogging so I do try and fudge it if, if I can get away with it. So then day 15, the last day, it's quite sad really. I've really really enjoyed this. So day 15 is the Slytherin house crest. This stitch mania has been good because I've, I've had a lot of these for a really long time and I've I wouldn't have started them, I don't think, if it hadn't been for Stitch Mania. So not not much done because I, I only had a, a couple of hours last night because yesterday was really busy. So that's just started the top of the crest there. So not too much done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to repeat the first, I've kept them in the order that I started them. I'm now going to repeat the 15 days again and do a couple of hours on each one in the same order. So they'll all get two days work this month. A couple of the little ones, I think definitely the vintage sewing machine, I will finish this month. So I think the, um, the Dahlia and the Sunflower I possibly may finish as well. Um, so I'm going to do that and then I think it will get a lot of progress done on a lot of them and then when it comes to doing my normal rotation again in June it will be easy to put a few of those whips in and, and um, get them done, especially those crests, I don't, I don't know what it is about those. So there was another, um, so that's my mania, so like I said I'm going to do another 15 days so I'll probably do a video at the end of the month and show you my progress on those. There was another stitch along for May. It was in the Cross Stitch Finish Line Facebook group and it was Magical May and it went from the 1st to the 14th of May. So 
what I did, I thought I will work on my giant Harry Potter and I did a couple of hours each day of the Stitch Mania starts and then I did two or three hours at night most of the 14 days so I'm really pleased with my progress, I got quite a lot done so I think if I, uh, so I'll show it you from the top and then I'll show you what I did this month. So that's the top. You've seen this before because I worked on this. I think I'd got I'd got as far as Expecto when I picked this up again in May. So I've now come down, I've done the two rows of professors. I think Professor Professor Le Trelawney looks so cute. Um, and I've got down to there. Oh, I've got a bit further than I thought. But I'm really, really pleased with that. So this is going to go away now. I'm going to make a little um, scroll bag for these. This is going away now. There is a stitch along on the 1st of June and the theme is books. And I think that's in... I would check, I think it's cross stitch, it's fun. Let me just check. Cross stitch, it's fun. 1st of June. And the theme is books, so I'm going to stitch on that. And I think I'm going to save this for the stitch alongs because there's, there's another one on the 1st of September in Stitch Mania for the. Um, the Hogwarts Express stitch along 1st of September in Stitch Mania so I'm going to save that and work on it in June for the book stitch along and then in September for the Catch the Hogwarts, Hogwarts Express stitch along. I find these stitch alongs really good for um, keeping me focused and disciplined and just getting that progress done um, because I probably wouldn't have picked the, the Harry Potter one up for a while because in June, I want to finish the Mirabilia and get back to work on my Hades because I haven't haven't put a stitch in my Hades since <clears throat> since my last video, and that seems ages away. But I think it's only it's only three, possibly three weeks, because I did the Mania plans. So it would it would have been towards the end of April. So. I think that's it. I haven't really got, I'm still on my stash diet, which is really hard because you're all stitching such beautiful things and with all the mania plans and updates I've seen so many beautiful things. I have done a wish list on the Clouds Factory website which made me feel a little bit like I was shopping because there's a few things on there I want to do for presents for people this year so I thought well if I do a wish list it feels like I'm shopping, but I'm not actually shopping. I had a slight little blip in my stash diet, but that was only two needle riders from No More Lost Needles. And I bought, I bought Cross Stitch Magazine. But they don't really count, I don't think, as stash buying, so. I'm on my stash diet until um, towards the end of June because it'll be my birthday and I usually get some money. So I'm going to try and hold out. Sorry. I'm going to try and hold out for the whole of June. I've bought the odd bit of thread that I've run out of, which that doesn't count either, does it? And I have got an awful lot of lovely projects that I want to start. So I'm going to concentrate on those. So I think that is it. There's, an, there's another um, tag that's, I can't remember what it's called. I haven't watched all of it yet. She, I think she only uploaded yesterday, the vintage cheek stitcher. So I'm going to have a read of that and write that down. I might do that on my next video. I love doing the tags. I don't think I've got any more news. No, we haven't.
having some lovely weather. So it's been really nice to get out in the garden a little bit as well. Um, so yeah, it's just fitting everything in, isn't it? I didn't, didn't but I'm, I'm making a quilt and I'm on a bit of a deadline. It's got to be done by July. Um, and I've picked, it's not a complicated block, but it's just time consuming because you've got, you've got to make all the triangles and the pieces to make the block. So I'm cracking on with that as well in the day, trying to get a, I think if I can get the majority of the quilt top done by the middle of June, I know that I'll finish in time because I only need a week really to quilt it and bind it. So I'll show you that on my next update as well at the end. So that's that's taken up a bit of time as well. So I think I'm gonna have to start to learn to say no. But uh, I do enjoy quilting, so. Anyway, absolutely loved seeing all your mania plans and updates. And there's obviously lots of update videos uploading now because a lot of people have done the 15 starts so they're doing their updates. Um, <clears throat> So it's been really fun seeing everybody's, and like I say, it's been really hard not buying because you're stitching such beautiful things. I have wrote a few things down that I've seen that I possibly I'm gonna be I'm gonna be like someone let out of prison at the end of June, aren't I? When I've got my birthday money. Anyway, um, thank you for everyone that's still subscribing and liking and commenting. You all leave such lovely comments. It's it's really heartwarming and, and just lovely so enjoy the rest of mania if you're still going and I will see you very soon happy stitching